Here are five reasons you need a good 3D printing pen. <music> 3D printing pens have been a big fad in recent years and let me tell you, there's good, bad and definitely ugly. Me personally, I've been using 3D printing pens from before they were cool. This is my 3 doodler. I backed it on Kickstarter for 99 US dollars plus delivery over five years ago. This was advertised as the world's first 3D printing pen and I was one of the lucky owners. Back in 2013, they raised a tremendous amount of money and people were really hyped by the possibilities. This model actually works not too bad. It's pretty reliable, but there are some downsides as well. The outside is pretty simple. It's got two buttons for two different feed rates. It's got a simple toggle switch to switch between ABS and PLA, and it's got a little cooling fan. It doesn't have any type of temperature readouts, only relying on a single LED which changes color from red to blue when it's up to temp. One of the most annoying things about it is this little flexible cover that goes on the nozzle. On this model, the nozzle was quite large and protrudes quite a long way from the handle, so the cover is really necessary for safety. The problem is the cover constantly falls off. It's annoying to the point where I usually leave the cover in the box and use it without, just trying to be that extra little bit careful to avoid getting burnt. Although this pen is reliable, there's still a few things that prevent me from using it. Number one of those is that it uses 3mm stick filament. It's shipped with a range of different colours in ABS and most of them I still have left over. That's because they're a little bit annoying to use. Like a hot glue gun, as one of them's running out, you need to feed a new one into the back. Trouble is, because it's all happening on the inside, it's hard to tell when you need a new one and it's a little bit cumbersome to operate. Another issue with this pen is that it extrudes pretty slow, so it takes quite a while to build up enough plastic to make anything worthwhile. Now I think it's fair to note that this is a five-year-old model and the brand has developed since then. They have a range of models available for sale on their website, but once again, the price is pretty similar to this, their pro model being $250 US. So surely there must be a cheaper option. About a year ago, I purchased this model for $40 Australian from eBay. It had a number of things that were gonna be different to make this one work much better. Firstly, it was cheaper, so that was a bonus. Secondly, it uses 1.75 millimeter filament, so I can use all of my normal filament from my 3D printers. Another strong point is that it has a little LCD screen to tell you the temperature, which you can do fine adjustment with, with presets for ABS and PLA. Instead of having only two fixed speeds, it has a little slider for variable speed adjustment, which means it should have a lot more capability and ease of use. So this thing was full of promise, but unfortunately it was rubbish. From the first time I turned it on, the LCD screen didn't actually work. There was parts of the display that didn't light up and that makes it very hard to read. The function was not too bad, it extrudes pretty quick compared to the 3 Doodler, but that's when the trouble started. It would randomly overheat, start smoking, and I was worried it was gonna catch on fire. Now I thought it would be pretty humorous to film that for you in this video, but unfortunately the last time I tried to use it, it's locked in an error one state and it won't do anything at all. So it's actually ready for the rubbish bin. So I thought there was still a lot of promise in the concept, but I didn't really wanna spend too much money for what I considered at that stage still to be just a novelty. So when Banggood sent me this model that's worth only $22, I was expecting it to be total junk and this video was going to be all about bagging it and how terrible it was. I was especially worried when I opened it up and saw it was exactly the same in shape as the rubbish one I had from eBay previously. After giving this thing a red hot go, I have to say that I was completely wrong and I am very impressed by this product, especially for the price. Myself and others have given this a really good workout, at least 10 hours of drawing at this stage. I took it into school and gave it to my STEM club and they fought over it for about two hours and it was faultless. It didn't smoke, it didn't break down, nothing got jammed, it just worked and worked and worked. I then gave it to my seven year old daughter to use for a couple more hours and she had a great time with it as well. The rest of the time, well, that came from me. I did a fair amount of experimenting with different materials, different styles, different techniques and that's what this video was all about. In all this time testing this thing, I have had zero problems, nothing at all. It has been faultless. The functions are the same as the eBay one, apart from one thing. You don't have to hold the button down to extrude or retract. You simply press it once, it starts coming out, and you press it again when you're finished. For me, that gives me a lot more control because I can press it, put my hand in a really comfortable position, and then do my work, press the button again. I've put a link to Banggood with a discount code to buy this thing in the description below, and I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should buy one. Reason number one for getting one of these is to enhance your current 3D printing. If you got one of these pens, I would highly recommend snipping off a couple of feet and putting it aside so you can fix any problems with models. 
Take this Benchy for instance. When I was making my video on Linear Advance, I had a little typo in the settings and it produced these holes in the top surfaces. Here you can see me using the pen to fill in the holes, a little bit of filing, and it brings it back far better than any other method could. For those that do model making and miniatures, I think this would be invaluable. It'll also be excellent for people doing really long prints where there's one tiny little problem, but they don't want to throw it away and print the whole thing again. This got me thinking, how else could you use the pen to complement your 3D printer? I reckon you could use a 3D print to have dual, triple, quad, even more extrusion. Imagine printing a sphere in blue and then putting in green into your 3D pen and illustrating all of the countries on the globe. Sure, you need to have a steady hand and a little bit of skill, but it's gonna be far cheaper than buying a dual extrusion printer and learning how to use that. That really excited me over the prospect of using normal 3D prints as a 3D canvas, like this dog for instance. It was printed in Zortrax ABS on my Cocoon Create Touch, and then I used the pen to add purple PLA to make a collar and a dog bone pendant. Imagine how cool it would be to take something like this 3D printed chainmail, which I do in my Mark III, and then use different colors and patterns and textures on the top. Reason number two is to prevent waste by using up samples and leftover filament. Now with these pens, a little bit goes a long way. People love to do really long overnight or week long prints and they can use up a kilo of plastic at a time. Not the case with the pen. You can get quite a lot out of one of these little sample rolls that comes with it or a sample roll that you can order for a couple of bucks from your favorite filament supplier. You know that little bit of filament left on the end of your one kilo roll and you're not sure if it's safe to use it because it might run out mid print? Well, you've found a use for it now. A 3D printing pen can be a great way to prevent this material from being otherwise wasted. Now, if you intentionally wanted to use it with a full one kilogram roll of plastic, well, that's gonna last forever. Reason number three is to get one for your kids to encourage them to be creative. Although PLA has quite a fruity smell, I've never seen a material safety data sheet that listed fumes as toxic for the PLA material. The other obvious hazard is the nozzle, but I can report that it's not really that hot. Most of the heating is done inside and you need to leave your finger on the tip for a couple of seconds before it's really gonna burn you. Now I work with kids and teenagers for a living and I can report that a lot of them think they're too cool for most things. Well, this product overcomes too cool. Teenagers love it. I had a group of about 20 teenage boys fighting over using this and they made things like models of their house and pretty flowers. If you want your kids to be creative but you don't want to spend the money on a full 3D printer, well, this is a great option. Check out this spider and web that I made with the pen using three different colors as a Halloween decoration. Last Halloween, even though I'm in Australia, my kids loved making decorations. This is just gonna add another element which they really enjoy. Meet Barbie. With not much time or skill, I managed to make this gold crown that sits perfectly on top of her head. What a great product for reducing your child's screen time and getting them to be more creative. Only thing you have to worry about is the cleanup of all the leftover little pieces. Reason number four is that it's equally enjoyable and therapeutic for adults. In the last decade, adult coloring books have become all the rage for the relaxation and enjoyment properties. On a few occasions where I've done some coloring in, I can vouch that it is actually really relaxing. For me, it takes my mind back to when I was younger and carefree and didn't have to worry about work and money and the other stresses of life. Doodling with one of these pens has a similar type of feeling. Don't underestimate the joy of creating something goofy and the effect it has on your stress levels. If you want one of these pens or you've already got one and you're looking for inspiration on what to make, check out the YouTube channel, Make Anything. Devin is a super creative guy and he's got a heap of videos using 3D pens to make really cool little projects. Whether you're making a sculpture or just having some fun, it's immensely enjoyable. My final reason is that you can create geometry that isn't possible any other way. Now 3D printing is already good at this because it's an additive manufacturing technique. You can build up shapes using it with a layer by layer process that wouldn't be possible with traditional injection molding and other plastic molding techniques. Even so, 3D printers are pushing the boundaries, like with the hairy lion model. I for one was blown away when I first saw this by the use of lateral thinking and creativity. A 3D printing pen can also be used to build things up in a very creative way. But it has the added advantage of being able to add this fine texture if you let the nozzle come away from your model and naturally squiggle around. Normally in 3D printing we see this in failed prints and we call it spaghetti. But with the 3D pen you can control it to create things with fine texture like hair and fur. Just imagine the possibilities for someone who does cosplay, making props and things like that, adding in this texture that you simply couldn't get any other way. One pro tip I have when designing parts that fit you is to use a hair dryer like in the hairy line to soften it and then mold it to your face. As long as you don't get it too hot, you'll find it conforms really nicely and after a couple of seconds it will cool and stay exactly where you need it. This includes flexibles, so you could print out some rigid parts using normal PLA or another filament and then use flexible filament in your pen to join them together to make articulated joints. 
This heat manipulation could be used in other ways. Imagine doing a long flat 2D pattern, heating it up with a hairdryer and then rolling it around something cylindrical to make it more three dimensional. Another advantage is that you can use multiple materials like I did with the dog with ABS and PLA. Really your imagination is your only limitation. Well there are five reasons I think one of these pens is a must have, especially for such a cheap price. I had a really fun time preparing for and making this video and the good news is I can share some of that fun because Banggood actually sent me two of these. In a couple of days, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for one of my patrons, which I'm gonna select randomly. This seems like a perfect time to say thank you to them for supporting the channel, and I'm really happy to be able to give something back. Well, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy 3D pen printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you wanna see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really wanna support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.